All right, yesterday on the jump, um, there was a, a topic where the debate was who would win in a one on one matchup in their primes, Tracy McGrady or Kevin Durant. And I think they used the uh, Orlando Magic version of Tracy McGrady, the one that won back to back uh, scoring titles. In the early 2000s, I think, what was it? Uh, was it 2000? I'm trying to remember what years it was. Was it 2002, 2003, 2003, 2004? I think it was those years that he won a scoring title. And um, McGrady got very perturbed when <laughs> it was mentioned that J.R. Smith. And uh, I think Evan Foyer, whatever his name is, with the uh, Orlando Magic, were giving their opinions on social media. And in their opinion, it was like a, a no contest, like, you know, easy, like KD, like, oh, man, like, you know, it's no contest. And McGrady got pissed off about that. And I think rightfully so, you know. Um, I'm not saying McGrady would win. He could. But it's not going to be some slam dunk, you know, literally slam dunk victory for Kevin Durant. Um, you know, Kevin Durant is phenomenal. He's six foot, what, uh, how tall is Durant? Like six foot ten and a half, I think. Uh, in shoes, he's like seven feet tall, ridiculous wingspan, seven foot wingspan. Um We've never seen a guy of his size be able to handle the ball the way he does. Um, Nowitzki's a little bit bigger, uh, but Nowitzki is a third of the athlete that Durant is. And I think Durant's an even better uh, outside shooter than Nowitzki. Uh, not by much, but a little bit. And um, But... McGrady wasn't a midget either. McGrady was McGrady was six foot eight. Okay, uh, we had never seen a guy like McGrady at that time. Six foot eight. He was two hundred and fifteen pounds, lanky, long. Um, was almost seen by some as something like a Michael Jordan, although I thought that was a little bit hyperbole. Or something like a Michael Jordan, but bigger. Um, the advantages that Durant has with size, McGrady has with quickness and athleticism. I mean, you could make the argument that in the early 2000s, McGrady was the most athletic player in the NBA outside of his cousin, Vince Carter. So the matchup, I think, favors Durant, but McGrady could, well, could very well in his prime, I think, win this matchup. Um, I think they made a point in this in the uh, segment that it all it might just matter who gets the ball first and who's hot that particular night. Um, McGrady was a good shooter; he was a, a, a very good mid range shooter. Uh, Durant's a better outside shooter, more consistent. McGrady wasn't bad from outside. I think McGrady, and some people might disagree with this. <laughs> I think McGrady is a better finisher, um, a better dunker, and I think when it comes to like going to the basket, McGrady's better, a little bit more creative um, outside of the paint area, mid range, and beyond. Durant has all the advantages, and that's my pain on that. But it's not some slam dunk victory for Durant, in my opinion. But tell me, who do you guys think would win in a matchup between Tracy McGrady and his prime? Not the, not the Nick years or the Hulk years or the Spurs years when he wasn't even fucking playing anymore. Um, and my phone's dying. But who, who will win, that McGrady or Kevin Durant?